Okay, so for the beginning of the discussion, then A, let's say, uh, given that this function is x minus 1 times square root of x plus 2, by using Newton Russell method, we have to starting at x equals to 1.1, find the roots of this function. Find the roots of this function, okay? So, means uh, you are given function already. Okay, you no need to find your function by your own. You are given this function. So, your function, your gx, they are not using fx. It's okay. You want to use gx, you want to use fx, it's okay. As long as that is a function. So, normally for Newton Resonance method, we need to differentiate. Uh, so, here is a challenging for this differentiation. Because this is our product rule. Okay, not so easier. So, we have to perform our product rule. Write in the power first. Right in our power x plus 2 power of 1 over 2 so that we can differentiate then we can use in our newton lesson method okay so how to differentiate this we using our product rule okay saling yang depan differentiate yang belakang kejap ni okay saling yang patut dulu tambah saling yang belakang differentiate yang depan okay then differentiate the things that we want so from here uh, differentiate belakang differentiate yang belakang ni power rule dia ada power kan so power rule power turun depan power tolak satu jadi negative half differentiate dalam kurungan satu ok dah differentiate yang belakang then kita pergi differentiate yang depan differentiate x dapat satu ok then we start simplify ok we simplify what else we can simplify how do we simplify factorize out Okay, factorize out. Factorize out like what we done in last semester. Factorize out the same factor. Uh, so this is our first part. This is our second part. We can see what is the factor that's in common. Uh, this factor is common. This factor are common. So we we'll factorize out x plus 2 to the minimum power is negative half. What is remaining here? Okay, so what is remaining here? After you factorize this one out, so remaining here is 1 over 2 times x minus 1. So it will be 1 over 2x minus 1 over 2. So at the back here. So at the back here, once you factorize our negative half, means our power will get out, will take out our negative half power. So remaining here, power will be equals to 1. So at the back here, our factor will remain x plus 2. Okay, then we simplify. So we can simplify this. x plus x, 1 over 2, negative plus 1 over 2. So x plus x here will give us 3 over 2x. Then this one plus 2 minus half plus 3 over 2. Okay, so we done. We done our differentiation. And then initial value. Okay, so we start to do our Newton Russell method. Given that initial value, we are given our initial value here where our x node is 1.1. So when you want to find our x1, we need to substitute our 1.1 into our Newton Russell method formula which is fx uh, which is your gx uh, here because they are using gx substitute your 1.1 here just write it clearly okay don't don't afraid of the calculation calculator help us to calculate we just need to perform our step uh, clearly okay so this is our function this is our differential function then we can press our calculator alpha x minus fraction this is our function okay you can press this one also times square root of alpha x plus 2 go down here then bracket alpha x plus 2 into the power of negative 1 over 2 
Tam Plakat Okay, then we put calculate 1.1. So don't take the fraction, yeah? Take decimal, which is 1.001. Uh, how many we have to express? Uh, it doesn't mention here. So when it doesn't mention here, uh, we take to the normal case, which is 3 significant figure. So calculation plus 2, 5 significant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5, 8, it will be 1, 6. Lah. Okay, so 1, 6 here. Then we continue. Okay, so we continue for x2. x2, we just repeat 1.0016 minus. Okay, we can write it in short. Calculate. Okay, so 1.00, uh, so nothing, 00 already. So we can stop here already. Yeah? Uh, we can stop here already. Why? Why we can stop here? Because when we take our significant, we take more significant in our calculation. But our focus here is 3 significant. You can see our 3 significant is 1.00 for the first answer. For the second answer, also 1.00. Okay, so consider it already repeat. Okay, our answer already repeat. So here, we can stop here. Okay, so we don't need to go until X3. We can stop at here already. So therefore, our answer 1.00 for this 3 significant figure okay so if you want to try to check our answer you can just press this one equals to zero see what is the situation alpha equal to zero then she solve for it because you're finding x so it means you solve for it you see answer is one yes answer is one so you stop here you don't go for x3 yeah uh, we, we do concern yeah in your calculation we do concern uh, how many x you calculate how many round interaction they are doing okay if you too much or you too less not enough both of them also will affect your mark your working uh, your marking also will affect so you have to exactly if two step then two. Uh, so that will be our question uh, seven. Uh, this one is ten A.